You have spoken publicly with a guy named Ashton Forbes, you know, full screen. who is a big proponent of these MH370 videos. And these are these videos where you see these three orbs and they seem to circle around. The MH370 is this Malaysian aircraft. It was on CNN for like, you know, a couple of months. And it seemed like the civilian aircraft carrying passengers just disappeared in the Southeast Asian mm -hmm. territory. And uh, this guy, Ashton Forbes, took to Twitter maybe around a year ago saying he thinks this is man-made tech and that the craft was somehow teleported out of the sky. What do you think? Don't forget Dave Rossi's fourth orb. That's why Ashton now goes by four orbs. Orbs. Interesting. Four orbs. There's, there must be four orbs. Remember the whole idea that once you open the black hole, what if there is a white hole? But the three, the three orbs would 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 have your three axes, hence your point of origin. But there must be a destination, so there must be a fourth orb. You need negative mass or negative. There must be a fourth orb. So you think this is? It's not me. Dave Rossi came up with this idea that there must be a fourth orb. I think he's one right on the money. Dave Rossi is a very interesting engineer that should be looked into as well. So he's very think? smart. Why would brilliant? You teleport a commercial airplane and where did the airplane end up? Is, or is it the plot? Or the... All I'm saying is when I saw that thing open up, I saw the Pius effect in action. And I told Ashton Ford, that was his first podcast, Hard Troops podcast. I told him, this is the Pius effect. Oh my God. So you think we have room to produce super coming in time too? Those orbs also speak to uh, AGI, artificial general intelligence. Mm-hmm. <laughs>